Ladies and gentlemen, the biggest scam in the world has finally come to the end. That's a little bit dramatic. Right? Logan Paul announces CryptoZoo refund process and will cancel the remaining project and launches a 25-page legal document to sue the bad actors involved. <laughs> What a hero, what a legend, right? Incorrect. Well, let's get one thing straight. He offered to help the people who basically were scammed in this NFT and refund, basically the people who wasted money on this shit. But let's get something straight. I have absolutely no sympathy for the people who were scammed here. Obviously, it's a horrible thing. Don't get me wrong. But if you are listening to people like Logan Paul on how to make money and spend your money, then something is wrong with you. Yes, they're very rich. However, all these rich people have clever people, business people who look after their money and tell them what to do, okay? These guys have so much money, they just don't have common sense. So he declared he's taking it into his own hands and repay the victims. So he's personally committing more than 2.3 million, which is chump change. You know what I mean? He wipes his ass with that type of shit to buy back the base eggs and the base animals from every person who intended to play Crypto Zoo. So any one of the uh, people who bought it, you'll be getting some money back. But... There's a little bit more to this than meets the eye. Obviously, CryptoZoo was exposed by CoffeeZilla, a fantastic YouTuber. You should go check out that video. Far more intelligent than I am. I'm just talking about what better people than me have found out and investigated, okay? But if you fell for this, and I'm sorry if you did, you're lucky to be getting this money back. Usually, this is a scam. Let's get that right. So that only covers the people who still have their eggs and base animals. I don't know what CryptoZoo really is other than it's a shit game for Logan Paul and his scammy friends, scummy friends, in order to uh, basically just get rich off other people's shenanigans, other people's not thinking straight. I mean, how can you trust someone like that to buy crypto coins? I don't quite understand. So he's, it's taken him a year, by the way, a year. You know what I mean? How many shits have you had this year? And it took him that many in order to get used to it. It's crazy. So he's basically blaming these bad actors who did steal money. But one thing I want to know is what happens to the people who have already sold these. Now, obviously, if you own these still, okay, you were just like, whatever, I'll just keep them. Who knows what's going to happen? What happens to the people who've sold them you know a lot of people have been like right this is a scam i've clearly been fondled here someone's got my testicles in a mouse trap and they keep slapping them i'm just going to sell my testicles and move on what happens to them do they get any money by the sound of it no he's basically buying back all this shit but who knows what reason so you can get money so imagine let's say 50 percent kept it and 50 percent sold it only 50 percent of the people who are scammed are going to be well compensated and going to be or get a positive outcome out of this and me personally i feel like if i did something like this i'd be like shit i might panic and be like, I'm going to sell this and get used to it. Let's cut our losses while we can. I'm not sure if you notice as well, a lot has changed in the past year and past two years since all this came out. Bitcoin, Ethereum, all that has plummeted. Plummeted like a plane getting shot down during a war. It has crashed hard. There's not really a lot of money in it. There's still money, don't get me wrong, but there's not a lot of money in this stuff as there once was. So Logan Paul, we're going to read this. I'm going to read it quick because fucking hell, he's clearly used AI to write this shit. Today, I'm happy to announce that I'm delivering on my promise to buy back base eggs and base animal shit. Uh, for the original price so you, basically if you've been scammed which it is a scam by the way you can go to this website here I'm sorry if you were scammed but at the same time like I said before I don't have sympathy because don't trust creators don't trust these people humans are the worst not just youtubers not just celebrities humans are the worst the worst things on this planet they only care about themselves go to that website you can get it and you can get your money back he approached Project Zoo like anything else he's passionate about with no thinking and the intent of uh, making people be scammed I've never made a single penny from the project which is probably bullshit in fact the opposite is true because i spent hundreds of thousands of dollars trying to make it happen which again is just absolute horseshit i don't believe for a minute he didn't make any money off this that's why it's taken so long he's committed 2.3 million buyback uh, which is i you know i, I don't know if that's going to go the whole way like i said i think a lot of people have sold and cut their losses so it was derailed by bad actors and he's a terrible one you know he's one of the worst actors in it and they did steal money trade the team intentionally sabotaging the game this has been confirmed by an extensive investigation involved forensic analysis of blockchain apps it. mate you don't even fucking know what them words mean with the evidence in mind today he's filed a lawsuit in federal court text told these bad actors to cut the 25 lawsuit here the lawsuit's not based just on snippets of conversation taken out of context the lawsuit is the result of exhaustive investigation including the review of entirely conversations and tracking nefarious trading activity related to the project so he's basically passing the blame he's saying oh I, w I was part of it but it's not me you know what i mean you know he's not part of it basically he's he's saying it was these lot who were the bad guys i was just the man with the money i just invested in it like guys look at me i, I 
I'm a victim too. Look at me. I'm, I'm Logan Paul, please. It's like, okay. Well, if you own a business, right? You buy a shop and you suddenly find out three months working out that it's a, um, it's a front for a hardcore cocaine warehouse. You know what I mean? They are slinging dope like you've never seen. Breaking bad style, but cocaine. All right, I've seen it. I'm not an idiot. You would go, well, you've not done your due diligence there, sir. You've not looked into it properly and actually taken the necessity and the thought to think about what's going on here. If I was going to give someone millions, let's pres this this would have cost millions. I'm not just going to go, oh, here's a check, mate, take it. You know what I mean? Even if I've got three billion in the bank, mate, I'm going to want to make sure that I'm not getting into some dodgy dealings. Uh, blah, 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 blah. As far as the game itself, unfortunately, will not be released. Thank fuck. I personally spent 400 grand on it. So he's, you know, he's not spent millions. He spent 400 grand, developed it and have completion in the over third. Unfortunately, there are too many regulators that would need to be cleared and that I did not originally tell. So again, he's not clever enough and not got a brain enough. Now, don't get me wrong. I, I'm not a Logan Paul hater, but I just own up to it, mate. Be a goddamn man. Admit that you've made a mistake and that this is a serious, a serious situation you found yourself in. Watching there are two, uh, we've had the biz buybacks away for me to make those who intended to play crypto zoo. The buyback is not intended to compensate those who gambled on the crypto market and lost. It's important to remember that Zootoker was created to support crypto zoo game and its play is not intended as investment vehicles outlined in the white paper. Oh, that's a load of shit. Just saying it's not my fault here, isn't it? The crypto zoo egg buyback. So what a load of nonsense, eh? Ah, oh, see, the idiots like this fucking PK. Fuck off, you gimp tard. This guy scammed people, all right? Again, no sympathy for them if you fall for it. But he's an absolute scumbag when it comes to things like this. I used to actually kind of like his videos, all right? I have nothing against the guy, but have some balls, mate. Have some determined, some grit to be like, yeah, I fucked up, all right? I got exposed and don't make some sarcastic video saying, thank you, Coffeezilla for exposing who I really am. It's like, it's not like that, bro. You think this is the end? Oh, nah, boys. Oh, nah, boys. So, Coffeezilla made this tweet. Again, I'm just commentating on far more intelligent people than me, so just go watch their stuff. Ignore me. But making a video on Logan Paul, I'm super happy some of the victims will get refunded one, but let's not pretend there's ulterior motives. Logan's being crushed in a lawsuit by multiple people, by the way. I've seen the files. Multiple people are suing him for a lot of money. As usual, he's trying to save his own skin. So, in this, it's basically saying you are wavering any actual or claims against Paul as well as against any related personal affiliates agents partners employees blah 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 for monetary or equitable relief arising all that mumbo jumbo basically means he is covering his own skin if you don't know why he's getting sued out the bum holy right now multiple multiple people probably you know hundreds i don't know the figures are trying to get all the money they lost rightly so from this absolute scumbag of a scheme he is now put this in so saying i'll give you your money back but you can't sue me back for scamming you in the first place yeah deal quick handshake cool it's wrong you deserve to be sued these people deserve their money back i'm going to say this because i just thought of it It might be wrong but it's imagine going on a date you you're in you're in you fall in love with this girl right beautiful girl right F she finally invites you to bed pulls down her trousers and she's got a penis all right you'd be a bit fucking pissed off wouldn't you you would at least like to know at the start that what she's got is not the not what you signed up for okay it's no different here if you're going into business with someone and they lie and they pretend they're this oh yeah you can make money here it's get you know gamble obviously you're gambling it's crypto it's online it's trying to make money you might lose it all but you you can make it there was no chance of making money here it was all bollocks so he's basically just doing it now to cover his own skin saying please don't sue me please don't sue me i'll just give you what you put in so they are i think they should all just say fuck that i'm gonna sue the fuck out of you and just get even more money why don't they do that as uh you know this youtuber another fantastic youtuber much better than i will ever be logo paul year delay refund is awesome for the victims it's also cute it's happening when he's been sued over this and his recent scheme includes a waiver excluding him from any anticipated claim from that lawsuit basically saying nothing to do with me to them lot crazy crazy world man crazy world the world's crazy one thing that really pissed me off now i love ksi i'm not gonna pretend i don't i think what he's done for youtube what he's done for the world what he's done for himself is incredible how can you tweet this what are the haters gonna say now where's my money bitch where's my money there's no haters bro no one's going well there are haters people hate logan paul because he filmed a dead person and put it on youtube but that's reasonable people hate that he scammed people ignored the whole thing for a year and then is now giving them the sort of like well they'll just take your cash and shut the fuck and leave me alone that's why people are pissed off you know he's doing the bare minimum here really he ignored coffeezilla for months never got back to him never got back to any of the people who were questioning they had like chats and discord and things like that and then now he's coming out of it and then ksi i can't get over this tweet man this is so piss me off i like ksi i think he's a great content creator man but oh he's not a hater bro these people have been robbed it's like in red dead 2 when you throw someone off the horse shoot them in the head and steal the well maybe not it's like when you hold l1 and say rob them and they give you money and then you kill them you know what i mean it's no it's pointless like well it's not haters it's victims you don't say someone who got you know molested and they, they have finally apologized when they're older is like well 
you're a hater, you don't like him. He's like, yeah, of course I fucking don't. He committed a crime against me. It's completely different. Look, I'm not hating on KSI, but just come on, mate. Have, have a bit of chill out. I know you love his prime penis and shit, and you guys are going to make a billion gazillion dollars off it, and good for you, but like, come on, mate. Have a bit. You must be able to go like, come on, Logan, mate. You've just scammed your, your audience, your fans, the people who made you who you are. Ugh, it's annoying, isn't it? Annoying. They're not haters, bro. They're victims. But yeah, look, this is just a small part of the problem, isn't it? YouTubers and content creators having far too much say and too much influence over people. I think there should be like psychological experiments over the last three, four years of YouTubers and content creators and the effect they have on kids, the effect they have on viewers and what they can get out of them. Prime would not be as big without these two Muppets constantly banging on about it. You know what I mean? I've had a Prime, all right? It's fine. It's fine. I'd rather have a Fanta. I'd rather have a Sprite. I'd rather have a Powerade. You know what I mean? Just because it's got, you know, what, a bit of caf less caffeine in it or something? It doesn't mean it's the best shit since sliced bread. Like, I think the thing that annoyed me most was this. Like, come on, KSI, you're better than that, mate. You're a good human being deep down. You know these poor guys aren't haters. They just want their money back. They were lied to. Anyway, look, that's going to be it from me. Slap it on the head and call me Hillbilly Jilly because, my lord, I'd love to see what happens in the next year. If you honestly were affected by this, please comment. I want to know what's going on, the details. Luckily, I've got, you know, I'm too dumb to be involved with crypto and all that shit. You know, I pretended to buy a few stocks, realised you know you can't just randomly flip a coin and get some and make money and thought yeah it's not for me but yeah look good for you logan paul paying and back but like come on mate ksi there's no need to tweet that brother